Hey guys, all right, so this is in uh, comic book picks of the week. That's not until Wednesday, today's Tuesday, so tomorrow. Um, it's not a comic book review. Just um, on Sunday, I was supposed to be uh, at an event uh, as a vendor. Uh, that turned out to be a bust. Um, didn't go as planned, so uh, decided to sh go check out this comic book shop that I did not know about that's been there for three years, which is literally like four, maybe three miles from here, from where I live. Um, so I was like, oh, let me check that out, you know, got the whole day, you know, free, so I'll just focus on uh, art stuff and um, for the free comic book day, um, and I'll go check this out in the meantime, since I had the day off, and I, I found, uh, it's, it was called uh, Jesse James Comics, and they had a pretty cool layout, it was a pretty big store, um, they had a couch with, uh, with, they were playing Star Wars at the time, that Star Wars movie on, they had a whole set up for, um, I want to say they were playing Magic the Gathering, I'm not big on card games, so I'm just going to go with that because a lot of comic shops here in the Valley tend to do um, Magic the Gathering tournaments and games and all whatnot, and um, and it just had comics all over the place, like table set up, you know, with uh, all Superman comic books, all Iron Man comic books, um, the dollar, I, everything that was not bagged and boarded was a dollar, so that was pretty cool. So I decided, all right, I'll go ahead and just uh, browse through, see what I can find, anything that catches my attention. And there's a couple of things. Mostly got them just because I like the cover. And one I got actually because uh, two I got. If I can find the rest of these, um, I'll find them. But go on with uh, Venom Funeral Pride. Fabulous first issue featuring the Punisher. And you see Venom there with uh, Frank Castle. And it's one of those Chinese... Yeah, like the, um, I don't know what you want to call it. You can't call it holographic cover because it's not popping at you. But you know what I mean. It's um, one of those really cool looking covers. So yeah, um, love Venom. Punisher's always great. So mostly got it because the Chinese thing got my attention. Second, because it's Venom. So this first one. Second one, uh, this was two bucks. It was uh, Spider-Man number well, um, actually, guest star Wolverine. Um, this is part five of Perceptions, part five of five, uh, and this is a Todd McFarlane cover. That's mostly why I got it. As you can see here, you have Spider-Man and Wolverine, and it's done by Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane, sorry. Um, so I got it. This was mostly chopping because uh, chopping for anything that caught my my eye in terms of covers, not because I was looking for stories or anything. I was just browsing and buying. Um, so the one, this one's pretty cool, only a buck. Uh, Thunderstrike issue one. And again, uh, you got the, see the light in the back sparkles. At least it does sparkle. Well anyway, hey, a dollar, you can't beat that. So, shiny cover, a buck. First issue of Thunderstrike, thought it was cool. Another one that was also on that dollar rack was uh, Iron Man number 300. And again, same thing, you got the shiny cover. So, as you can see so far, anything shiny really got my attention. Um, and these happen to be a buck. So, uh, guest appearance by War Machine. Stark leads the Iron Legion against Ultimo, the Living Holocaust. Uh, 64 page celebration. So yeah, you got uh, Iron Man there. And, uh, I remember this armor from the cartoons, the Iron Man cartoons from when I was a kid, um, the Marvel Action Hour. I don't know if any of you remember that. It was on Sundays, I, I believe, and there was um, Fantastic Four, half hour of Fantastic Four, and then half hour of Iron Man. And then later on, they, uh, I think they did like uh, two hours. It was Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Hulk, and there was another one. But those were the main three on the Sundays to do it. But um, I remember that as a kid. Now these next two uh, I also got. Uh, I think they were a buck each too. Uh, they're boarded and stuff because uh, when I went to go pay for it, they, they did it for me. Uh, I got part one of Venom, Separation Anxiety. So, and that's part one of four. So you see the five symbiotes there. I saw it, I had to get it just because um, 
I know many of you who uh, probably play video games and grew up on Super Nintendo and all that and loved Marvel or and DC and all the comic book stuff. You probably remember the game Separation Anxiety where you got to play as Venom or Spider-Man or two players. And um, you had to deal with the five symbiotes and then Carnage at the end. I still think Maximum Carnage was a way better game. Uh, way more difficult at that too. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, childhood memories. Had to get that. And uh, the last one I got, the that book too. Um, doesn't say how many pages. I'm sure it's like 64 pages too, like the Iron Man one. Uh, this is uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. And it is, of course, Maximum Carnage. The first part um, begins here. Fabulous first issue, Iron Man 1963 or 93. Yeah, whatever. But you got uh, Spider-Man and Carnage there in the back. Um, and like, like I remember as a kid, I would get comic books every once in a while. You know, whenever I'd be able to, to pick one up. And there was money to buy one, so I didn't grow up stacking comic books in boxes. No, no. It was every once in a while. If there was money, I was able to get one issue. So, uh, I remember I did buy Maximum Carnage. I think it was part... I want to say it was 13, 12? I remember the cover had Carnage and he had his claw like that. And, like, everybody was webbed up on his, uh... On his symbiote, I guess. Um, but yeah, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then I played the video game and I was like, oh, this is super cool. And I never got to even, like, go to the beginning. Well, the game's kind of like the comic, so... You got the gist of it in that, but it's not the same as having an actual comic in your hand and you know reading through it. So yeah, that's my uh, comic book advent, comic book shop adventures. Um, I still obviously go to my the comic book shop I go to. Uh, drawn the comics in Old Town Blendell, voted number five in top. I want to say top twenty five best comic book shops in America. Um, the first three were in California. I don't remember the names of them, but it means California. Uh, the third, the fourth one was, um, I think, New York. And then the fifth one was Drawn the Comics, the one I go to. Um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'll definitely check out other comic book shops from time to time just to, you know, just to check it out. And uh, yeah, so I was able to get a pretty good deal on these. And I thought it was cool. Um, but yeah, that's um, the adventures of uh, Comic Book Adventures of Sunday. Uh, if you want to share anything you picked up over the weekend, uh, any comic book hauls or not even just comic books, but anything uh, comic book related, um, maybe bought some of those uh, uh, character statues like the Spider-Man, the uh, Superman statue. I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when I say those. Or um, you want to share anything you did geeky or comic book related this weekend, go ahead and do so in the comments section. And yeah, until next video. Bye.